Hey guys, what's up? Alan here. Uh, we're doing a video on Mandela Round 1 of IDC. Of course, of the time recording this, uh, Mandela has already, Round 1 has already been completed, so... Uh, instead of doing, um, I didn't really have the time to do a video before Round 1 to show track layout and me practicing and stuff, so... Uh, instead, I'm going to show you guys how I kind of did it. Um, how I would have done it. So, we are again driving the Prodraft Academy, Project Academy S14. As you can see. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. But, um, yeah, no, today we're going to do some laps around the uh, Mandela circuit. So, for round one, they've actually changed the, the change to where we were starting. I think it was round about here where we were starting. Obviously, the car will go through the chicane. I have my shifter in sequential mode today because I think my shifter mount is going to break if I use the H pattern. Okay. Or else I'll just do that. Yeah, so. Um, this is my actually second video of doing one of these. I did one of Dunleary. Um, and I did that a, a couple of days ago, um, but I've decided to do round one as well. So I'll actually upload this video before Dunleary. So um, yeah, I've, I've changed a lot of my volume things and I've changed a lot of other things as well. So hopefully uh, this video will be better than the, than the next one that you guys will see. But um, yeah, of course I'll still be doing more of these throughout the year. I'll do another one for round three. For my other prize fight, and I'll do one for. Damn it! Oh crap! We're we'll doing another one too for round four, which is punch, punch is down, and obviously the last round as well. But I'll also do more videos through the season on other games and stuff because uh, I think five videos a year just on uh, a couple of track loads isn't. Uh, you know, I could do a lot more essentially. So. When it comes to Mandalo, I just approach it to go as fast as you can into corner one. Um, you need to take a late apex to two, go up to three, transition out to four here again with as much commitment as possible. Stay on the outer line here, transition back to five, I think it is. Then out towards the wall, tap it like that. Make sure you don't put a wheel across uh, onto the grass as you cross the line. It does never look good. I generally end up crashing more uh, than I do um, getting a lap in because I'm just trying to find my limit. You know, when, you, when you're approaching Mandela, you don't want to be too cautious. Um, well, okay, of course, if, if I'm saying you need to be, if you need to be committed, you can't be cautious. But definitely the hardest part of the track has to be this one to two to three. Oh, too much. That was too early is this area, going into this area right here. So you you go through clip point one to two to three. Um, yeah, if you just if you just don't have the speed going into four, you're just not going to get into it, clip point four. So you need to make sure you get a lot of speed through three, be able to, uh, to float out to four. Some people put a wheel on the curb, but it's actually a little bit less grippy out there. I usually downshift before transitioning. Just because I want to be able to time my power out of the uh, tip point much quicker. Lap the wall. Yeah, so when you come up to four, I generally try to get into my gear as early as possible so that I can get on the power as soon as I can. So, considering this is after round one, uh, obviously IDC round two, Don Leary is coming up, so uh, hope to see you guys there if you're heading. Um, 
obviously I'll be there. I'll be trying to get as much points as possible again. I will do really try to do it the best run I possibly can. Yes, full throttle. Transition out to four. Oh, a bit wide. E5 a bit early. Out to six. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Oh. It's time for a small break and uh, it was maybe a bit of a motivator. Okay, that was a good run. Maybe if I want better runs in the future, I just need to eat while I'm driving. It seems to be the only way forward for me. Alright, we'll do one more. Okay, that's probably never a good thing to say, because one more ends up. Either you hurting yourself, or you need to do another 10 runs to get it right the same. Yep, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, yep. Getting frustrating. I want to do the best possible run I possibly can, and I can't do it. Like, I, well, I can't do it. I just have to eat. But then I, I can't describe myself while I'm eating. We go a little bit more tame on entry this time. Yes, that's a bit better. Just using the lift foot there to stabilize the car. Running out of gear. Oh, come on. There you go. Yeah, you want to initiate a nice bit before clip one and try and get really deep into two, which is right here. Obviously, and then deep into three with transition, so you've plenty of time to slow down, slow down the car into four and get on the trot nice and early. Through five. You don't want to stay on five too long. Yeah, that, that looked pretty decent. Through six. Could have been much closer to the wall right there shallow on that, but nice and wide out towards the white line, to the next wall, now to, oh, what's that clip point, nine is it? IDC with all their clipping points. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to leave this video here guys, um, if you enjoyed this type of video make sure you give it a like, if you're watching this on YouTube make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing videos wise, if you're on the uh, YouTube, make sure you give my page a like so that you can keep up to date of all the videos and you can see when they come out. And um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video.